Tails, you scared me. Oh, sorry, Rosie. Oh, this book is so interesting. It's about volcanoes. I wish I could go and see a real volcano. Where's the nearest one? I don't think there are any volcanoes around here. And I'm quite glad about that. <laughs> oh, think hard, Rosie. There must be one around here somewhere. Question. I thought I'd end up with more than just some funny coloured stuff. Hi, Will. Hi, Holly. Uh, can I borrow some salt, please? Yes, of course, Big Bear. Um, actually, I borrowed it for my experiments. There must be an exciting one I can do. I've got the perfect thing. Come with me, Will. Vibrations in the ground. Did you feel them too, Ed? <laughs> Look out, everyone! A volcano is going to erupt. Boom! Hello, Raggles. Hello, Ed. What's all this? About a volcano then? Science experiments, not cookery. We do science in the kitchen every day, just cooking food. Here's the recipe for honey and banana bread. The yeast and the honey react together to make bubbles in the dough, and that makes the bread rise and become lovely and soft. Can I have a go? <sighs> this is like doing science. Good work, scientist Will. Do you want to finish making the dough while I rake up the leaves in the garden? <laughs> no problem! Very interesting. There! The more yeast I put in, the more bubbles there'll be. And the bread will be even more soft and yummy. Was my tummy. I didn't have much breakfast. What was that? The volcano is about to blow. Ooh. I really don't think there are any volcanoes around here. Sorry, Raggles. Oh, there must be some other volcano signs to look for. Well, I've heard that smoke sometimes comes out of the ground when a volcano's about to erupt. Smoke? Raggles, I don't think we're going to find a... A volcano! Look! Smoke! Damn! Look out! A volcano's going to erupt! Just get away from the volcano as quickly as you... Oh. Hmm. I can't wait to taste Will's bread. Oh, oh neither can I. Raggles, what's wrong? Oh, Oakley and Archie told me all the signs to look for, but I still haven't found a volcano. Oh! Big Bear, I think you better come quick! Oh. oh! How much yeast did you use, Will? All of it? <laughs> Look! A bread volcano! <laughs> <laughs> Is anyone brave enough to try some? Mm. Mm. Oh, 
yummy, yummy. In my tummy. <laughs> These should help us clear up the bread. Thanks for making sure everyone was safe, Raggles. I'm glad I could help, even though it wasn't a real volcano. Mm. It was definitely an eruption, though. <laughs> <laughs> It's lovely. Rosie is so kind. And what about my first delivery as a postbird? Not bad, eh? I've got a picture for Rosie to say thanks. Wait there, please, Mummy. Can you take it to Oakley's Hill? You can post it there. Post it? But what should I put it in? Um, do you have an old cardboard box, Holly? Um... <laughs> Oh, this is a post box, not a trampoline. How does that feel? <laughs> Comfy? A little tickly on the old bark. <laughs> but I'm so excited, I don't mind. Here come your first pieces of post. Oh, hi, Holly. Oh, who are they for? Can't you guess, Oakley? Let's see. Rosie, Big Bear, Will, Bluebird, Raggles. Yes. Oh, mustn't forget these. We can't post letters without stamps. Ah, good thinking, Holly. Time for my deliveries. Thanks, Oakley. Thanks, Oakley. I love sending things to my friends. It's even more fun than receiving them. Oh, glad to be of service. I can't wait for my first letter. What's going on here? Letter for you! Oh. Manny's delivering the post, Bluebird. He's our first ever post bird. What? But I'm much better at flying than him. I'd be a much better post bird. This will look so pretty. Beep, beep, beep. Out of the way, Holly. Post box coming through. <laughs> That's really good, Will. Yep. Now let's see who gets more letters. You or me? It depends how many letters you send, Will. Fly! Fly! Fly plane! Oh dear, poor Raggles. I'm busy making a post box, otherwise I'd help. I don't need any help. Shame it can't flap its wings, really. Fly! 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 Oh, hello, Manny. Looks like I've got my post box ready just in time. There you go, Big Bear. Wow! If anyone's a post bird, it should be me. Excuse me? It was my idea. Oakley had the idea too. Hey, you two. The important thing is everyone gets their post safely. And quickly. And I'm a lot faster than you'll ever be. Let's see, shall we? Last one to Teal's nest is a feather duster. <laughs> I did it. I got there first. You did not. Tell him, Teal. Never mind that. You squashed my post box. Excuse me. Some of us have urgent post duties to carry out. No. I get so many visitors now on a post box tree. <laughs> I think your post box is about to get quite heavy, Oakley. Oh, I don't mind. I just want everyone to get their post safe and sound. I'm going to get so many letters. Me too. Well done, Oakley. This is the best idea ever. <sighs> hey, you can't take them all. I want to deliver some. Hey, mine. Go and clean something, you big feather duster. 
Posty Posty, Oakley not happy. <gasps> We've forgotten Oakley. This was his idea, but we haven't sent him any letters. Don't worry, we will. What are we going to do, Rosie? Can you fetch some paper and crayons, please, Holly? <laughs> Don't forget the stamps! Ready? One, two, three! Shops away! Ooh. Ooh, what's this? <laughs> Post for me? And this one's from Big Bear. I've never had post before. Would you help me send thank you letters, Holly? Of course. You're the best post box tree ever. Show for him. Oh, no more pink, please. I think we should do a show with adventure in it, full of heroes. Oh, and magic. We need a story with parts for everyone. Hey, what's that? The prince and the dragon. Once there was a beautiful princess <laughs> who was kept prisoner in a cave by a fearsome dragon. Cool, dragon? The fearsome dragon was so scary that no one dared to rescue the princess. Until one day, a very brave prince... Brave prince? Oh, that's me! ...decided to rescue the princess. The prince had a friend who was a magician. Did someone say magician? Who told the prince he could beat the dragon if he used his greatest weapon. Ah, oh, my sword! Your horse. The magician put a spell on your horse and made it the fastest horse in all the kingdom. So that Prince Will could rescue me, the beautiful princess. The dragon came out of his cave to meet the prince, but no matter how fast the dragon chased, the prince was faster. The dragon became so tired, he fell asleep and the prince was able to rescue the princess. Ah, this story will make a great show for Oakley. So, Rosie is the storyteller, I'm the magician, Will's the prince, Holly's the princess. What about the dragon? Oh, me! Aren't you a bit small? I'm not small, am I, Rosie? <laughs> I've seen real dragons, and they're enormous. Real dragons, Bluebird? <laughs> what about you, Big Bear? Fancy being a dragon? Not me. I'm busy building a stage for the show. If Michaels wants to be the dragon, we should let him have a go. Yippee! But we haven't got any dragon costumes. Never mind, I'll make one. Ah, let me help. I know exactly what dragons look like. The great magician Bluebird put a spell on Prince Will's horse to make it the fastest horse in the kingdom. Abra, Kazuma, Kohosa, Kawizaku! And so, Prince Will went to find... The dragon. <clears throat> the dragon. <laughs> oh, mighty dragon, you are far, far bigger than me. <clears throat> um. Craggles, <clears throat> you're meant to be really scary. I would be scarier if someone hadn't taken my tail. I had to make my cape out of something. And anyway, real dragons are huge and breathe fire and... Dragons are real? It's all right, Holly. Dragons are just pretend. <laughs> That's what you think. Real or not, 
The dragon's got to look really big and fierce. Sorry, Raggles. Maybe we could help you. Hmm. I'm big enough to be a dragon all on my own. You just wait and see. No one will see me here. I'm going to make the best dragon outfit anyone has ever seen. You've made a great costume, Raggles. You were right, Will. I'm not big enough. You'd have to be four times bigger than me to be a good dragon. One, two, three, four. Four times bigger. That's it. Raggles! You've already made the best dragon costume. Don't you still want to be the best dragon? Yes, but... Then we'll all help you. Oh, this is fantastic. This will make you the fastest prince in the world. Thank you, oh mighty magician. So Prince Will galloped off to face the fierce dragon. <laughs> what was that? Bravo! Rescue me, brave prince! Huh? Oh, uh, of course! Fear not, fair princess! Look out, Prince Will! Never fear! I'm the fastest, remember? Yeah. It's getting closer! Don't worry, Manny. He's getting tired. <laughs> it's worked! The dragon's going to sleep. Brave Prince Will has rescued me! Hooray! Three cheers for Dragon Raggles, the best dragon there has ever been! <laughs> With a little help from my friends. 